What is going on with third age right now? Look at this. The third age plate body is going up to 300 in like a matter of days. I just bought one of those for 211 a few days ago. And now everything is skyrocketing like uh, the third age range top. It's triple the price. What is going on with third age items? Okay, third age bow is max cash. <laughs> this used to be like 400 mil. Uh, Yeah, third age cloak is nearly like four times higher price. What in the world is going on right now? So there's been some pretty insane price manipulation in old school RuneScape lately. Today, we're gonna talk about the massive rise in price, theories on why this is happening, and the impending downfall of the prices of these items. Let's get into it. Someone on Twitter claimed they made 1.6 bill on the third age market manipulations lately, and the picture doesn't show the pickaxe, it shows a wand. I wanted to see what was going on with the prices and what I found out shocked me. Third age items just skyrocketed, but it's 1.7 bill. Yeah, but it's the the hard clue third age I'm curious of. I always personally thought that the elite and masters would go above max cash every single piece, so I bought them all. But if the third, if the hard clue ones go above max, I'll be very surprised. But we'll see. If I have to fork over max cash to buy a third age kite shield, at least it'll look nice on the Grand Exchange. And I'm going to be honest, out of every third age item in the game, the pickaxe should be the most expensive. The kite shield should be the second most expensive. Kite shield's booming, bro. And one of his chatters says he made 17 bill from the price surges. And another chatter who wanted to remain anonymous told me that he noticed the prices skyrocket on the mornings of League's release. He says he bought two Third Age Wands on October 1st, and that they shot to 1.1 bill each when League's came out. And the Third Age Longsword went from 780 mil to max cash. Considering the wand was about 287 mil on October 1st, he made over four times his investment. But it wasn't just those items. He said every tradable Third Age item on the Grand Exchange tripled in price within 24 hours. Then he told me the pattern he noticed. The prices get volatile tile, rising then crashing across a few hours, then stabilizing at a low price before skyrocketing. This pattern is supposedly how he knew which items to flip. But then he invested in third age kite shields, which spiked in price, but then crashed. If his pattern is right, he's about to make bank. Only a few days ago, they were 144 mil a pop, and by the looks of it, there's some market manipulation going on here, because look at that meteoric rise. The Grand Exchange tracker is showing a high of about 805 mil. So this guy became an overnight billionaire. Four days ago, third age kite was 125 mil. Now it traded for 900 mil. I don't have a third age kite. I have all of the elite and master third age, and I have a third age mage hat and amulet. I don't have any of the other hard stuff. Well, that's all right, Bodhi. Most of the third age items are already crashing now. It looks like the price manipulators have started cashing out already. Guess all those noted items gave them paper hands. And reminder, everybody, if you guys are buying third age items, make sure you're doing it with money you're willing to lose. This is not investment advice. And welcome to RuneScape Chronicles. Oh yeah, that don't reach. Oh, come on, dude! Oh, the pain is unreal. Remember, no monkey, for most of us, that's the average rate. I got now horn. Oh my shit. <laughs> He should get 10 extra league points for pronouncing it correctly. No, no, no! Another one! What? How am I alive? You saved your skin, dude. Holy shit! That is so. What combo food do you have? I bring in like six sharks and six blondes, but they're about gone now. I don't know. I was so hoping you stepped right in there. <laughs> Again? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my god. What a fing run. Hey, if you want to see any invocations, here's the invocations. So it's pretty much the same thing, like a 600, but you have these two additional invos that bump up the level to additional two, 200 levels each. Our friend Noob Type is one of the best RuneScape players ever, but Leagues has two new hellacious invocations, Blazing Tombs 1 and 2. They increase the raid level by 200 each, skyrocketing the hit points and defense of every monster. He doesn't bring a ton of supplies. His DPS is so high that the raid flies by. The DPS is helped out by his Guardian, a tier 8 relic
relic that's like a Giga Thrall. Akka still has six memories at level four, but missing a swap could be deadly. Noob type chose Ruinous Powers for his tier six, the scrapped prayer book with higher damage output, but it also has increased damage for getting hit off prayer. No, it's, oh, I thought swap, never mind. This is a really fast ball, but I might get the time. It dies here, please. Please die for me. Shadow, please. Guardian, please. KO it. Yes. MVP Guardian. At least the Guardian can't snipe your purple. He's keeping his health low because the Berserker Relic adds damage for missing hit points. Oh, I'm going to hit huge. I'm 12 HP. Oh, 113. 113 damage every two ticks. Now we know why he didn't bring a Dragon Dagger. But staying alive and speed running this raid is a tall order. Oh, we did it! He clutches the completion with the time requirement. Give me a ward. I need a ward. Complete log. Nah, fang. The reward, underwhelming. But the show was awesome. Congrats to Noobtype on completing the first ever level 1000 Tombs of a Masket. I guess a shadow would help as well. I'll be alright. Don't give me a Missouri piece of some shitty light bearer, mate. I'm begging. Give me the fang. The fang will be huge. Please! Please! No! <laughs> we have never seen that reaction to a shadow before. Oh, uh, back five back, lovely. Surely not another ring. Yes! I got it! It's over. I've won the game. I have everything I need, boys. Where'd it go? I banked it. What an idiot. From Discord submissions, TagPro submitted a guy who seemed to be using cheats multiple times. His name was a little offensive, but after TagPro repeatedly called him out for cheating, the guy changed his name to TagPro with a Q, maybe hoping the reporter gets banned by mistake. Strange things happen in RuneScape sometimes, but sure enough, we've reported him and we'll keep you posted on what happens. <laughs> Oh, you know. Did he not realize he got a pet? One guy's he pet, I went. Oh my god, what? No, uh dude, that's not real. What? Pet drops aren't buffed in leagues, so that's really rare. I'm liking the end game? Yeah, early game was really I'm still at the early game to be honest. I can't even say much. You got your mark of grace. Dude, honestly, I thank you so much for sharing this picture with it. You know what, chat? Brawler has to share a picture with you guys. His first collection log. Can you guys all congratulate him? 1KC rooftop. Dude, just log out. Your account's pretty rare. Not too many people get a 1KC uh, mark of grace, dude. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that with the class. <laughs> That's actually pretty rare to get in your first lap, I think. Sick nerds at Hard Mode Theater of Blood, and it's time to clutch up. I think that's a lesson to not try hard mode on your hardcore just yet. First solo attempt. That was sick. Oh, he screeched, didn't he? He did screech, yeah. Almost mammaled myself there. Run right away, he said mammaled myself. Already better not PK me, bro. I have a feeling he's gonna PK me. I'm gonna eat a shark. I I, I have a feeling he's gonna misstep. Ooh, server freeze there. Come on, start off. Oh, I just had a dead click. What did I can tell you guys? <laughs> Good thing for undying retribution. <laughs> Magic the Blathering has fire sale, so when he died with a stack of 20,000 condensed gold, he had to cough up 500 mil to get them back. <sighs> what do we use anything, bro? That isn't the fucking mask. Open the suck my ball, bro. Oh, we got the tomb again! Yes! We got the tomb again! <laughs> oh, we're a tomb again, Tabba! Sheesh. League's drop rates are incredible, right, Dino? We have eight fangs and four light bearers. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Just give us not a fang, not a light bearer. Anything else. Ah. Oh. Hopefully you get your shadow soon. All right. This is the raid where I get my Kodai. Oh, I got Tebow. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, we got the double Tebow. We got the double Tebow. Okay, lovely. Holy shit, we got double Tebow as well.
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I just got smoked. Hobbs is using Berserker for his guaranteed max hit. He uses Ice Blitz to start, and then Ice Barrage, which finishes off Calvarion without the dog spawning every time. The world's first dog skip, just like we're skipping to the outro. And we'll feature more scapers on the next episode of RuneScape Chronicles.